This demonstration explains the setup of multi-line pricing in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2009. Microsoft Dynamics AX uses trade agreements to define discounts and prices for customers and items. Trade agreements are also used for vendors. This demonstration will review customer pricing. There are four types of trade agreements. This demonstration will review how to set up multi-line discount trade agreements. Multi-line discounts are generally used with quantity breaks because they offer discounts based on multiple lines. In this example, purchase 1,000 hardware items to receive a 10% discount. Microsoft Dynamics AX checks all lines of a sales order to see if the criteria are met. If the quantity is greater than or equal to 1,000, then a 10% discount is applied to all hardware items purchased. Before setting up the pricing, it is helpful to set up a price matrix outlining how the discount will be granted. Who will receive the discount? This will define the customer multi-line discount groups. In this offer, we are only offering multi-line discounts to high-volume customers. What groups of items will receive the discount? This will define the item multi-line discount group. In this example, we are granting discounts on medium margin items. Determine a quantity that must be purchased before the multi-line discount will be applied. Establish a discount for each combination and now we are ready to set up the discount groups in Microsoft Dynamics AX. The item discount group form can be accessed either through accounts receivable or inventory. The same form is accessed, so if you create groups in accounts receivable, they will show in inventory and vice versa. Here we will create item groups identified in our pricing matrix. First, select the type of group we are creating. The type corresponds to the trade agreement type. In this case, select multi-line discount group, then create an identifier for each group. The price group is an alphanumeric field. The groups created will then be attached to the items that are eligible for the discount. As with the item discount group, the customer price discount groups form can be accessed through accounts receivable or inventory. We will create the group identified in our pricing matrix. First, select the type of group we are creating. In this case, select multi-line discount then create an identifier for the group. The group created will later be attached to all the customers that will receive the corresponding discounts. Now that we have set up customer and item group, we are ready to set up the trade agreement. The trade agreement is where the prices and discounts are defined. Notice that the item discount group and customer price discount group both have a button for trade agreement. A trade agreement can be set up in either form. When it is set up in one, it will automatically update the other. Which form should we use? Generally, it is easier to use the form with the least amount of groups. In our example, we have the same amount of customer groups as we do item groups, so we will use the customer group. Select the customer group from the overview screen. In this example, we have selected the customer group High Volume Customers. Click on the Trade Agreement button and the Multi-Line Discount option to launch the Trade Agreement form. Here we select each item group and assign the discount percentage or discount amount based on our pricing matrix. All discounts entered are related to our customer group, in this case High Volume Customers. Multi-line discounts can be set up for a group of items or all items. They cannot be used for individual items. The item field will always represent the item group. In this example, the date field is used to indicate a discount that will be effective for six months. The quantity field is used to indicate the minimum quantity to be purchased before the discount can be granted. Because we are setting up a multi-line discount, 
Microsoft Dynamics AX will add up the quantity of all applicable items to see if the criteria has been met. Let's take a look at item group 2, medium margin items. Notice that the item group is listed three times for the same period. This is because there are three sets of criteria indicating three different discount amounts. If one item is bought, a 0.5% discount is given. If 250 items are purchased, there is a 2.5% discount granted on each item. If 400 items are purchased, then an additional 1% discount is granted for a total discount of 3.5%. The discounts granted on quantity break are cumulative. If 500 items are purchased, then the total discount is 3.5%, 2 plus 1 plus 0.5. If the discount is granted for percentage instead of quantity, the functionality is the same. Each new quantity break adds to the previous discount. The Find Next checkbox is very important when using quantity breaks. It is used to indicate that Microsoft Dynamics AX should search the trade agreements to find the best price. If it is not checked, then the system should stop at the first discount on the trade agreement. In our example, if Find Next is not checked for medium margin items, then a 2.5% discount will be granted regardless of the quantity. Microsoft Dynamics AX will not find the next discount. In the bottom left-hand corner, click these Discount Percentage fields to be used to input the discount percentages at each level. If you instead want to use dollar amounts, you will input the information in the table above under Discount. After the trade agreements are created, they must be linked to the customers and items. Go to the Customer form in Accounts Receivable and select each customer. Go to the Sales Order tab and fill in the applicable price discount group. When creating sales orders, the multi-line discount group listed on the customer will default into the sales order. To link the items to the trade agreements we just created, Go to the Item form in Inventory Management and select each item. Go to the Price Discount tab and fill in the applicable discount group. In this example, we will select the appropriate group, Medium Margin Items. Before any discounts or prices will be calculated by Microsoft Dynamics AX, the trade agreements must be activated. Select the Activate Price Discount option from the Price Discount folder in Accounts Receivable Setup. Select the Multi-Line Discount tab and activate the combinations that will be used. The combinations are for a specific customer, a customer group, or all customers, as well as for item groups or all items. Checking only the combinations being used will improve system performance. When a sales order is entered for customers in multi-line discount group 01, high volume customer, and the sales order lines are for items in multi-line discount group medium margin items, a 2.5% discount is calculated based on the trade agreement that we set up for the high volume customer.